Me here. Um, we're live on the stream after a bit of technical difficulty. I still don't know how to get rid of that glass over here on the side, so you have to bear with me. Um, so today I want to work on some mixed media um, mark baking tutorial. So I've got my paper down. This is a 13 by 17 piece of paper that I cut and I've sectioned it off into five by seven pieces. So um, we're gonna do that today and see what happens. Um, while I was looking for this piece of paper, I came across a bunch of other paper and I thought, you know, I've been wanting to make an art journal. So I cut all the pieces down to a, I ripped them all down to a similar length without being really concerned about the height of them. And I think I'm gonna sew them together and make a bond, make a journal that I can do collage work in. So that will be a project. Um, it could be kind of fun. I have all this paper left over from, um, it's nice paper. It's all arches and watercolor paper um, and just the little tiny scraps from when I make my work. Um, so I thought it'd be really fun to do an art journal. So I did that today. Um, all right, let's get started. So the first thing I've got my, I've got some pencils and then I've got my Higgins marker, some graphite 6B, um, my permanent marker. I'm going to use these four colors of Mangayo oil, water soluble oil pastels. I've also got um, this uh, golden quindersone nickel azo gold. And I might add in some metallics, we'll see. I've also got some Payne's gray and some white. So we're gonna try to go with maybe a limited palette here today and see what we get. So, now that I've already made a mess, let's start drawing. So I wanna warm up by just making some lines and making some, ah, oh, that tape is terrible. Making some marks. This is the way I start all my pieces. And it's really fun to like use the side of the pencil. And I try not to hold it like I would when I'm drawing like this because that limits how I make marks. So I like to hold my pencil in an upright manner or like this. Okay. Let's see, get the black. So we've got the start of some marks. And a lot of, I'm not really worried about these showing up later. This is, I know it looks like a hot mess, but it really gets you warmed up and also takes away from the intimidation of a blank page, which can be, as you all know, that struggle is real. Let's break out this for a more chunky mark, more darker black. I don't want too much. Let's use this side, that side. And this is um, an Arches uh, multimedia paper that I'm working on right now. Okay. All right. Be a good start. do next let's start off with I think I want to use some of this I 
This is um, the High Flow Acrylic Ink from Golden, and it's really kind of fun to play with. Okay, so let's just put, it doesn't take a lot. A little goes a long way. And I just want to add Ooh, that's bright. You can see on this paper that it's super absorbent, but I'm using my uh, rubber spatula here. really a nice way to work um, today I really wanted to limit my palette because I can get a little carried away with materials and I kind of wanted it to be a little less so got some wet media down we got some dry medium down Let's start playing with, I'm going to use this uh, okra color from the Mangayo water soluble um, crayons. These are really fun. They are oil pastels, but you can Can add water to them or you can just use them as it is. Well, it's fun to do a little bit of both. That's maybe not the best paintbrush. Another paintbrush, oh this one probably will be better. Also use your finger to move the paint around and also get your finger a little wet, which is something I like to do. I don't want to get this too wet. I like that mark. So these projects, when I do these types of drawings, I do consider them to be pieces of work that I would sell. I mean, they are a nice paper. It's not practice. Is the way that I work. I like what we got going on here. Sort of an autumn color scheme. <laughs> I don't know if that wasn't, that maybe wasn't my intention. some of this so you can see already we've got some makings of something kind of interesting it doesn't take long I like to work quickly um, those of you who have been here before know that I like to be very fast and diligent with my work I think I want to do, I'm going to put some, where's my palette? I got too much of this. Let's get this out. Squeeze out some white. I'm just going to put this on with my finger, I think. through a lot of white paint I'm like and now we're just finger painting 
You really want to get energy in the piece and keep the energy up as I'm working. I think that's very important, at least for me, when I'm working. Energy in the piece, and strokes and lines. I might even break out the brayer today. I couldn't find my catalyst wedge today. I'm very bummed. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, so we're gonna use, and after we added all that paint in, we're gonna go back in and scrape some away. Oh, that was nice right there. I'm a firm believer in Taking away is equally as important as adding in. And you can see, I really like what's going on there. I love these little subtle marks and hopefully I don't cover them up. Um, let's see, what do we need next? What does it need? What does it need? I think I want to go in with this blue color. We don't really have a gray. We don't really have a strong gray color anywhere. It is sort of weird talking while I'm working, except I talk to myself usually. And nobody's really listening, so that's kind of strange. I like these swooping lines. One of the other things I like about this paper is that it's really durable. Like you can really get in there and work this paper. Like it's not going to break down. It's going to hold up. It's good for most mediums, wet and dry. It's the uh, Arches oil paper. And I originally bought it use it mostly for my cold wax paintings but then I found that I really liked it with the skinny little I liked it with all mediums so it's really become my go-to paper I ordered this paper from Jerry's Artorama in 20 by what was it, 22 by 32 sheets I think something like that I feel like I need some brush strokes. White, blue, maybe some brown. I've been very fond of these metallics. This is just a craft paint. It's called brown. <laughs> it's called brown. It's more of a bronze color than brown. I don't need a whole lot of this, but I kind of want to add in Sort of almost a dry brush, a little metallic. These are really thin paints, almost transparent, which is kind of nice. Ooh, that's really pretty right there. I like the bronze next to that gold. Also stick to my three rule. 
if I add a color into a piece, I try to add it in three places. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, it just gives it more balance. I think, <laughs> could be wrong. Ooh, that dries really fast. Um, I feel like I want to cover up some of it though. I feel like it's so I hope you're enjoying your Friday I'm enjoying my Friday it's been a good Friday so far that didn't really work the way I wanted it to let's Maybe we can. There we go. I don't feel like that's working very well. Maybe we just need to palette knife it. through here. So there's been a very interesting thing going on. I post little mini videos to um, little snippets, little shorts, if you will, onto Pinterest. And sometimes I post them here as well. The funniest thing has been happening lately. I've been getting all these, what is it? I don't understand what it is. And I don't know how to respond to those comments. I really don't. I don't have a clue as to what to say to people um, that don't understand abstract art. So I just don't say anything. I want to say something, but I feel like I, I don't want to be rude. It's just really frustrating because, you know, everybody makes different things and if just rude comments when you don't understand something is, well, it's just frankly rude. So I've decided not to engage with those people. That's my decision. Do you ever experience that when you're working? The rude comments of people that don't get what you're trying to accomplish because it doesn't look like a flower or it doesn't look like what they deem is what art should look like right it can't be just expression it has to be something otherwise it's somehow invalid that's my rant that's my rant end of rant I wonder if Jackson Pollock ever had to deal with something like that. I bet he did. Oh, I like the yellow. I like this. That was the, what was that? That is another gold okra. Another one of the craft paints. I'm not sure I really. I like the craft paints. I've been having some good fun with them. So I've got some good areas going on here. I don't wanna, I don't want to under there. There we go. Let's wet that down. Oh, look there. We get scraping back in. I'll scrape off some of that white that I put down. Bring back some of that. Those black marks. That's fun. Let's 
always something underneath. It's like, what is underneath? You put things on and take things away. So I thought I would do this today instead of doing a jelly print. Although, when I start making my notebook, I think you're going to see a lot more jelly prints. Um, let's go in with this. Oh, do I want that one or do I want? So I've got the 9B and the 6B. I think I'm going to use the 9B. The 9B is pretty juicy. Oh, I just remembered something I could do. Let me grab. Let's do, I'm going to try something out. What is that? Some tissue paper here. I'm just going to try it like right. We'll see what happens. I want to try this for a while. Well, that's kind of fun. What if I. some more and let's just try it like right here let's take this skewer that's kind of falling apart oh but that's kind of neat that texture is kind of neat or we could just Maybe I should have done that with like regular paper. I like those marks that it's making there that you can make with the the skewer is kind of good. Look at those fun marks. Let's uh let me have just a regular sheet of paper here. I do. Let's try. Let's try this again only on just a regular sheet of paper. see what you're doing. but it's different lines if I use the back end of it a little bit more energy scrape some of that off You can see there's many ways to make marks. Many, many, many ways. Okay, I think it needs some unifying. 
before I got distracted. Let's go back with some. Ooh, I love this 9B. Got those marks. It's fun. Might replace my Higgins. I thought it amped up a little bit there, didn't it? watch any of my videos before you know I love a bold a bold 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 black line I want to add in some paints gray I think there needs to be a little bit more contrast not sure where I probably should not just add it in with my finger Let's put some in there. Move this back a little bit so we can, can see the bottom. And if you're watching on replay, feel free to ask any questions you might have. I'm always open to answer questions about what I'm doing. I wish that you guys could see how cool these marks are. In and all the textures that I've created here. I don't know if that's going to come through in the video, but I'm very happy with it. Let's get a little almost watercolory going on there. I don't want it to get too dark, but I do need some some blue to contrast all the yellow that I put in. And we got a little dark. That's okay. Let's add in, go back in with some okra and we'll get some greens coming through. I'm feeling it. Okay. Oh, this peachy color. thing I don't like about the Mangayos is that they're very, very, very sensitive. Like, they fall apart pretty easily. But I may be in too rough with them. I don't know. I feel like I got some good energy going here. I'm feeling pretty good about where it's at, actually. Uh, 
Um, come out. Okay, maybe that was maybe a mistake. Maybe. Just needed a bit more. Let me go back in with Mr. Palette Knife. Not that one. Where's the other one? We've really built up quite the 